This short video outlines the key steps in the sample collection process. Identification of all individuals testing must be provided to ensure that we follow a strict chain of custody. This allows the results of the testing to be court admissible. A proper chain of custody will allow us to follow the samples throughout the entire testing process. First, the DNA test request form should be completed by or for all individuals testing. For example, mother, child and alleged father should all have a separate form completed. The person taking the collect should ensure that the, all the information here has been completed. The collector will then ask to see the photographic identification plus the true likeness photograph. This ensures proper identification of everyone being tested. The collector will also ask to take a photocopy of any official identification provided. The individuals tested will sign the true likeness photo along with the collector. Secondly, the consent and payment form should be completed. Again, this form must be completed by all individuals testing. In the event of a person being tested being a minor, the mother or legal guardian's presence should complete the form on the child's behalf. Ensure that the client consents to testing. Without consent, the sample cannot be processed. At this time, please ensure that payment details have been completed. Once identification of the individual has been confirmed, the sample can be collected. The labels provided for the sample should be completed and countersigned. That is, the client and the collector should sign that the details are correct, in readiness for application after the sample has been taken. The sample is collected by placing the swab inside the mouth and wiping inside the cheek for approximately 15 seconds. This is then repeated with the second swab. A fresh pair of gloves should be used between clients to prevent sample contamination. Once the sample has been collected, the prepared label should be placed around the top of the sample tubes to form a tamper-proof seal. The samples will then be placed in a specimen bag. At this point, check your paperwork and complete any outstanding sections. In the laboratory use only, check that you have your recent photograph that has been signed by the individuals, photographic evidence, and the name and signature of your witness. Check that the test requested is also indicated and please ensure that you've filled out the collection details, where it was collected, the date and time, and who collected the sample, along with their signature. Once the paperwork has been completed, fold it all together and place alongside the swabs in the specimen bag. The specimen bag will then be placed into a sealed envelope before being couriered to our laboratory in Auckland for testing. All samples are tracked and traceable